Hello and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Reviews. Going to do this week's 4 from 1, well, I'll say 4 from 1, it's actually going to be, it's probably going to be most of the week. We're going to do this um, brewery, we're going to do Sierra Nevada. Um, I managed to pick up 5, 5, 6, well, 6 if you include this bad boy, which I've already done. Um, 6 beers from, um, sorry, I keep dipping off the screen there, 6 beers from <coughs> Sierra Nevada from uh, Barton's Fort and the local in Ashton. Um, we've got a juicy little thing, which is on the spinner. We've got cool little thing, hazy little thing, cosmic little thing, and the torpedo extra IPA. Um, and then they're going to be the next couple of reviews that you're going to see. I'm looking forward to these. I do like a Sierra Nevada, um, and I have got a Sierra Nevada glass. But again, for that much glassware, I can't find the bloody thing, and it will tear up when I'm not looking for it. I am um, so let's say we're going to start off with this. This cost me uh, three pounds out of four ten the local, as I say, formerly Barton's. It's the end of all this juicy little thing, hazy IPA. It comes in six point five percent ABV. That's not bad for um for three quid. Three hundred and thirty mil can is it? Pretty much, isn't it? Twelve fluid ounces, as our American cousins say. Um, <coughs> sorry, packaged on the 1st of Feb 24, so we're into what? Into October now. So, you know, it's almost a year old. No best before on these, as, as there never is when you're dealing with kind of American beers. It's always a packaged on or freshest by. Um, family owned and operated um, and argued over, are we? Anything else you need to know? Um, no. Said in general stuff. Please recycle. Blah 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 blah. I am. Um, let's restart off. It sounds a little, little bit cement mixery today. Right. Anyway, let's pop it up. See what we've got. So here we go. Beer in a glass. What are we looking at? We've got a lovely, hazy, yeah, well, I say hazy, in this part of the glass it is, here, it's, it's, well, yeah, it's got a light haze to it. This will illuminate quite nicely, I think. Let's go for it. Not too shabby. Um, yes, so, sorry. We've got half a finger, a dusting of bright white head. The beer itself is a lovely hazy um, orange colour. It is lighter in the neck of the glass than it is into the body. I am um, in the neck of the glass. It's more of a hazy, deep yellow, and then obviously it goes up to from the spuzz above there. It's it's orange, but what you, you're not seeing that you're seeing just the same colour. I um, I can tell you now straight away. I am getting an aroma of grapefruit and some chocolate fruit, and I haven't even got my head stuck into it yet. So let's go for it. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, that smells lovely. A bit of a um, say tropical fruit, a bit of bit of maybe a bit of peach state peachy stone fruitiness. Grapefruit, definitely to the fore there as well. And it's the whole grapefruit, not just the pith and the peel, it's the proper grape, it's the whole thing, the grapefruit. Flesh, if you want. Yeah, it's the whole thing. It smells really good. Right, let's go for the budget combination. Cheers, everybody. It's really nice. Really nice. Body is light. Carbonation is light and soft. Um, it's, it's, it's really nice. Yeah, it's very, very good. Sits on your palate really well. I say when it does, it does give you a little bit of a prickle, covers all, all the inside of your mouth with the with the, with the flavours. Yeah, I, I like that. That's got a big taste. Cheers. Mmm. I could drink a lot of that. Very, very easily. Drink a lot of that. 
the 6.5 is supremely hidden. It feels like it's only a 4.5% beer. It's packed with flavour. There's a hoppiness to it. There's a hoppy bitterness to it, which is excellent. There is a, a, a lovely grapefruit, zesty pithiness to it, which is, again, is beautiful. And that heads into the into the, the, the bitter finish that you get. Also, there's a little pockets, so again, a little bit of sweetness in there. Again, stone fruity sweetness, peaches, that type of stuff. Maybe even, you know, maybe, I mean, it goes far, so maybe a little hint of melon in there. Um, it's really, really nice. It is very nice indeed. Yeah, I like that. I say I could drink a lot of that. A hot sunny day with a couple of these that are really cold. Sitting in the garden, just enjoying the sunshine. I'd be a happy chap. Watching some sports with one of these, a couple of four of these, I'd be a happy chap. And I say, the 6.5 is supremely well hidden. I just wouldn't know you were drinking it. It's good. It's very good. So, let's wrap this review up. We are uh, looking at Chain of Others Juicy Little Thing IPA. Excuse me, Hazy IPA at 6.5%. Yeah, 6.5% ABV. Do I like it? Yes. Would I buy it again? Absolutely. Would I recommend it to friends? Yes, I would. It's very, very nice. Um, if you've had this beer, let me know what you think. Please put a little comment in. I'll put a link to the Sierra Nevada website, the UK one, from uh, Gosforth. Gosforth? Gosforth? Anyway, I'll put it in the link, the link below. Um, if you like the video, if you don't subscribe down here somewhere, and I will see you on the next one. <sighs> I still have a thought of it. Ended. Hey, yeah.